Hi, welcome to Clay Center Now. I'm Shannon Stark with Clay Center Area Chamber of Commerce. And today we are sitting down with Economic Development Director, Lori Huber. Um, and we just haven't really heard from you for a little while, so we wanted to give the community an update on what the Economic Development Group is up to. Well, um, last year, 2018, we had the closest we've ever come to recruiting a business to move to the area. Um, it would have brought in about 15 new jobs, but we came in second, so obviously they're not here. So we have the idea, we've been working on this for eight years now, of growing from within. Um, the idea being, if we could have helped 15 different businesses grow by one employee, we would have accomplished the same thing. So, so that's where our entrepreneur team comes in with Network Kansas, just okay. trying to grow from within. I like that motto, growing from within. Um, that's, that's awesome. So um, your E-team, tell us a little bit about um, that and how that all came about and, and what you guys are up to. Sure. Um, gosh, I'm going to say it's probably been five or six years now. We partnered with Network Kansas. We became what's known as an E-community. Um, there's probably about 65 or so E-communities around the state. And once you're designated an e-community, you have access to resources provided by Network Kansas um, that helps do that grow from within, helping local people start and grow businesses. So it's through our partnership with them that we are able to do some of the projects that we do. Very cool. Um, so you've been supported from Network Kansas, and that has just opened up a lot of opportunity for this e-team. And how many people are on the, the e-team do you have? Yeah, it's okay. very small. Um, there's maybe a half a dozen members. Nice. Um, and, so, and you guys are the ones that kind of focus the projects and, and use those resources to get stuff done in the community. Correct. Very good. So what do you have going on currently? Oh, we've got a lot going on right now. Um, you know, in the planning stages, nobody, not a lot of people realize all that goes on in planning to make an event happen. Um, so. Currently, um, we're starting on our um, entrepreneurial awards. Every year we give entrepreneur awards. So there's the social entrepreneur, um, the entrepreneurial employee, the young entrepreneur, the ROSE, or retailer service is what that stands for, and mm -hmm. then the entrepreneur of the year. Um, you, can you can view our past awards by going to our website, uh, Clay County echodevo.com and then there's a place that says about us and under that there's awards and so there's videos of all the past award winners that we've had um, so we'll start taking nominations of from people in the community who want to make you know nominate different businesses for the different awards and then the awards are actually given at our membership meeting in the at right after the beginning of the year right it's, it's such a process that to, go, to go through those nominations and really, you know, get it with your e-team and think about all of the entrepreneurs in town and yeah. what they've been doing. So, yeah. And when I was at the um, award ceremony at your meeting in January, you know, there's so many businesses that you don't even think about all the work that they're doing and the entrepreneurs in town, and it's yeah. very cool to see. So. Yeah, the things that go be on behind the scenes that people don't realize are mm -hmm. going on. So. Yeah, because you have the retail store and the retail award, which needs an award and is, and but it, that's very public. People yes. see that all the time. Right. And there's so many manufacturers and things that are happening that it's neat, neat to see. So yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so I've heard a little bit about this business development series that you have coming up very soon in August. Yes, um, it's it'll be a class um, on not just writing a business plan. Most people, when they hear of a um, entrepreneurship class, they think we're gonna write a business plan. And this, it's, it has, it's not about the writing of the plan. Mm -hmm. So first off, there's the mindset. Um, getting people to think more like an entrepreneur. And then there's the actual um, development of um, the product or service that they're going to be providing. So we go through the whole process of um, 
making choices and, and decisions and overcoming barriers to starting a business. Um, some of those barriers would be lack of money, lack of time, um, knowledge, um, fear is a big one. Mm -hmm. um, some people, for some people, the lack of an idea is the problem. Um, but for a true entrepreneur, there's ideas galore. You know, for them, then it becomes, is the idea feasible? And then that's the other half of the class is um, more about um, will it work? Who are the customers? Who are the suppliers? Um, you know, what's the competitive advantage? You know, mm -hmm. how am I going to market it? You know, and all that. Yeah. So do you feel like this is kind of an event for anyone that feels that, you know, they don't have to necessarily be committing to opening a business? Right. And, and that's who it would be perfect for um, so that they can determine feasibility. You know, and, and that's, that's part of it is um, testing the product or service that they're providing and, and finding out whether they think it would work or not. So, you know, some people see starting a business as being successful mm -hmm. for us, for EDG. We help somebody start a business, that means we have been successful. For me, it's if we've helped that person realize that idea isn't gonna work that way and saved them thousands of dollars starting right. a business that isn't gonna work, that was successful too. So true, very true. Well, right after this break, we will be back and we'll be learning more about this business development series coming up and some more events that EDG has going on. Count on our team at Eagle for reliable internet, TV, and phone, because keeping you connected is what we do. Eagle Communications, our community connected. Count on our team at Eagle for business class phone, internet, and technology solutions because keeping your business connected is what we do. Eagle Communications, our community connected. Welcome back to Clay Center Now. I'm Shannon Stark with Clay Center Area Chamber of Commerce, and I'm sitting down with Economic Development Group Director Lori Huber. And we have been talking about your E-Team and kind of things that you guys have going on in the community, mostly focused on the business development series that you have coming up in August um, and the opportunity that that would be for, for anyone in the community that's curious or thinking about opening a business. Um, but how would we go about signing up for that and, and getting involved? Sure, sure. Um, just if anybody's interested, it will be Thursday evenings starting August 29th, running through October 26th at 6 p.m. They all start at 6 p.m. Uh, the cost is $50. Um, it, after somebody successfully completes six of the sessions, we'll give half of that back. Um, to register, they just need to call our office, 785-632-5974, um, and there will just be a couple of questions that we ask to take down the information, and then they have to send us the, the registration fee. So if we get too many to sign up to, and fill a class, we'll just start another class. So, But I also wanted to say, um, we talked about it being for people starting, but uh -huh. it's also great for somebody who's considering growing a business. Um, and wanting to check out, you know, the, the ideas that they have in that growth. Yeah. Or even if somebody has a business where they have, say, a manager that they think could take a more active role in the business, yeah. um, that would be a great resource for them as well. Nice. So it's Thursday night, 6 p.m., and $50, but you get half of that back if you successfully finish all the classes. Six, six sessions. Six you, six you, sessions. You, yeah, you don't have to come to all of them, but okay. you have to come to most of them. Six <laughs> of them. Gotcha. Very cool. Good. So that's a great resource for current business owners or somebody that's looking into um, opening a business. So, Good. Or yeah. not committed, but, you know, thinking about it. Yes. Yeah. I like the idea of you saying that it's your job to make sure that they know the success in which, you know, they're, what they're getting into and if you can help them prevent right. failure. So yes. That's yep. very cool. Um, okay, so going into some other things you have going on, could you tell us about the EYC that you have? It's kind of, the process kind of starts earlier in the fall. Right, right. Young Entrepreneur Challenge. Um, it's best if, it, if they start early um, because you have to submit a three-page business plan. 
And so, you know, some people can probably wait till the night before and write something up, but whether that would be a winning entry, you know, yeah. would be highly doubtful. Um, so this year, in, in the past years, we've worked with the ag business class at mm -hmm. the high school, and um, a lot of those students are the ones who enter. This year, uh, the school also has a entrepreneurship class and so we'll be working with them as well uh, so that some of their students can enter. But it, they don't have to be in school, uh, in the school. Right. They can be homeschooled. Right. Um, so, so when you say young entrepreneur, what's that age range? Middle school and high school. Middle school and high school, cool. Yeah. So uh, locally, they have to submit their business plan to us by December 5th, and then on December 12th, at the um, United Methodist Church Family Life Center in conjunction with the Rotary, they set up booths and they give presentations to judges. And then the winners are selected that day. The, the let's see, first place is $750, second place is 500, third is 250, and then there's people's choice for 250. Very cool. So, so there's the opportunity to, to win money locally. But they also have the opportunity to go on to state. So the first place winner automatically gets to go, or mm -hmm. second place gets to go if the first place can't. And then um, the state also takes 14 wild card spots. So if somebody places third here, but they think they have a really good shot, they can apply for a wild card spot to go on to state. And at state, there's it's bigger money at the state. Yeah. Very cool. And we've how long has we been doing that locally with the Rotary? Um, with the Rotary, we've done it twice, I believe. We've done it four times, I believe, total here in Clay Center. And have a good turnout. You have it's quite been it's been growing. Uh -huh. uh, I think the first year we started with five businesses. Um, we were working with a teacher, and the, she I think all five of them came from her, uh -huh. or most of them came through her class. Well, and actually, it was a his class at uh -huh. the time. Well, then that teacher left and a new teacher came in and the new teacher didn't know anything about it. So we were starting all over basically. Right. So I said, we'll be successful if we just have the same amount. And I think we had six Good. then the second year. So we were up to, I believe, 11 last year. Good. That's such a great learning experience for the kids. And it's good to hear that the high school is going to have an entrepreneur class as yes, well. Yes, yes. So a a business teacher. Business teacher, adding that back into their curriculum. That's good. Yep. Good to have in the community. Very cool. Um, and that's not till December 5th is the application. They have to submit their business plan by December 5th. So, you know, it gives them time to do uh, market research and that kind of thing to have that in the plan because it, this is stiff competition at the state level. Uh -huh. it, it, there are people who spend a lot of time on these plans. So, you know, like I said, somebody could start the night before and get something written and submitted, uh -huh. but it is probably not going to be a winner. Yeah. And really, I mean, these are real businesses. Yes. That they're, that yes. they're starting. Yes, so, it working. is. Yeah. That's it it doesn't have to be. Uh -huh. it, you know, it can be a concept. But a lot of them are real businesses that these kids are doing. And if it is a concept, it can become something. I yes. mean, if they get the funding and they realize that they have something great, they'll yeah. run with it. So, yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, I think that the economic development is very involved in the community, working with the schools and, and having all these the business series going on and stuff. So it's great to hear all of that. Um, right after this break, we'll hear a little bit more about their business expo they have coming up. At Equal Marketing Solutions, we believe your advertising should be as unique as your business. Because if it's important to you, it's important to us. Call Eagle today for your customized marketing plan. Eagle Technology Solutions is the strategic advisor for your IT business needs. Because if it's important to you, it's important to us. Call today, Eagle Technology Solutions. Technology done right. Welcome back to Clay Center Now. I'm Shannon Stark, Director of Clay Center Area Chamber of Commerce, and today I'm sitting down with Lori Huber, Director of Clay Center Economic Development, Clay County Economic Development Group. Um, and you guys have a lot going on right now, but now we're wanting to focus on the Business Expo that you have coming up. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, sure. Um, 
for clarification, description of it, uh, some people might think of a business development expo as like the KCLY Spring Fair. Uh -huh. and, and it's not like that kind of business vendors. So what this is, the vendors are people or organizations, businesses that help people start and grow businesses. So it's the business people who are attending, you know, and going to see these other organizations who can help them start and grow businesses. So a lot of these people are used to having vendors of their own, but they're coming to learn from these vendors. Right. Kind of a different spin on it. Yeah. Right. Um, so types of vendors or, or vendors who have already registered are, are um, organizations like the Small Business Development Center and the SBA. Um, Network Kansas will have a booth there. Um, there's the Kansas Food Lab. So um, if somebody makes a food product and they need the label on the products that say how many calories and the nutrition oh, yeah. content and all of that, well there's a food lab that analyzes the food to make those labels. So if you're making something at home and you go, well, I'd really like to, you know, package this so that I can sell it in the local grocery store, but I don't know how to do that, you can come to this expo and, and there'll be a vendor there who can tell you the process that, Very the, cool. that they go through for that kind of thing. So um, we have from the land of Kansas coming, uh, Kansas Department of Ag, um, the MBA, the KSU MBA program. So say there's a business out there who wants somebody to do some research on a particular, you know, part of their business. Um, they can hire one of these, the, the MBA students, you know, for an internship, a short term, part time, you know, type of thing. So um, we have about 20 different vendors like that already registered um, to come. This will be the second time that we've done the expo. And where so do you do it at? This year, um, it will be at the United Methodist Church Family Life Center. Very cool. On October 6, 17th, October 17th from uh, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Cool. It's an all-day event to come and see all these vendors and um, learn a lot. Right. It sounds educational. So we're trying to get the word out um, early now uh -huh. for um, people who maybe do a part-time job, you know. Well, first off, maybe it's a business owner who they need to hire somebody to come in for a day so that they can attend right. the expo, so that they can have time to do that. Or maybe it's somebody who works full-time for somebody else and they have a part-time business on the job mm -hmm. and they have to get vacation day. Uh -huh. Or maybe it's somebody who works split shifts, you know, and, and uh, they can rearrange their schedule to have a day off. So just wanting to get the word out of when it is so that people can get it on their calendar. And October 17th, yes. plan to be at the United Methodist um, Church to do that business expo. And tell me a little bit, I said educational, just with the vendors, but there's gonna be more educational opportunity within it, right? Right. Yeah, last year, the vendor space is all that we had. And we were requested next time to have um, training sessions. So we're calling them breakout sessions. So there'll be classes like marketing, finance, HR, um, workforce development, those kinds of things where say, we don't have the schedule yet. We're still lining up the um, speakers mm -hmm. for the different breakouts. Um, but, but then when it gets closer, we'll have a schedule where say at 10 o'clock in the morning, there will be a marketing, social media marketing class. And so you can come specifically at 10 o'clock if you want to attend that. Or maybe there's the how to read finance statements at four o'clock in the afternoon. So maybe instead of coming in the morning, you want to come in the afternoon to be able to go to the finance class. Very cool. So um, like I said, we, we don't know what those classes are yet. We're still working with the vendors or working with different instructors to right. provide those trainings. Good, good. But we will definitely get the word out when when we know what those breakout sessions will be. So yeah. um, so last year you said you just had the vendors available um, and you, now this year you're gonna have the vendors, the breakout sessions and something else that's very exciting. I right. think it's very exciting. Right, right. Um, so we're also getting the word out to building owners who um, maybe want to either sell or rent out 
their building or some space of their building or something. So we're having an available building tour that same day. Um, we're making arrangements and we're, we're doing the advertising for it, but you know, if there's a building owner that wants to sell their building, they have to man the building during the tour. Right. So we're, we're advertising the tour to run from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And um, we're just letting everybody know that all these buildings are available. Like when they call us, when the building owners call us to say they want to be involved in the tour, they just need to let us know is their building retail, commercial, industrial, what's, what can the space be used for? Because if there's somebody coming in wanting to do a light manufacturing, you mm -hmm. know, they don't need to be looking at a retail space, right. you know. They can so. select which, which ones they would like to go look Right, at. right. Cool. cool, so you have the Business Expo coming up October 17th, um, and there'll be vendors available, breakout sessions with training and available building tours. So um, if you have a building available as well, make sure to contact Lori um, and get on that tour. So very cool. And then don't forget about the business development series starting in August. Um, and call down to, what's that number to get signed up? 632-5974. Very cool. Well, thank you for taking the time to sit down with us today and you guys have a lot going on. So it's an exciting time in our community. Thank and you. Thank you for joining us.